Peter, congratulations on being selected in the World Championships team. How does that feel going to uh, Bayern next week? Yeah, it feels really good. Like we've uh, so the team that got selected, we've been out in front row for the last two and a half weeks, and it's just been a really good training camp for me. I feel like the fittest I've been all year, which is like a good thing for me, especially since I took some time out after Rio. It's just like it helps me with the confidence going into the competition and knowing that I can be back to my best. So you're feeling strong going into it then? Oh, definitely. What do you think? Yeah. This is your second World Championships, is it? Really? No, I think this is my fifth. Oh, right. No, four, fourth or fifth senior world championships. Hmm. Can't remember now. Um, but yeah, no, like I think I'd say this year and last year has been like the two years where I've sort of been up to a level to compete on a like seriously on a senior circuit. So I am like really excited to go out and see how I can do. And and the uh, the squad overall, yeah. what do you think of the strength in bet going this year? Um, I think it'll be interesting. Like we've obviously got a couple of juniors coming through, Miles and Brad and. They're just there for the men's, uh, men's relay, even, but it should be like a good experience for them, see how they can do compared to some tough senior teams, which will be, I'm sure will be entered. And then it's kind of like the old guard now, um, Tom and Sam, myself and Jamie, we're, we're all like, we've all been there and done it before, so hopefully it'll be nice to get a team through to the final and see what we can do. You say you're part of the old guard now. Yeah. <laughs> I say that, but I, I still feel young myself, but it's kind of like we've had some of the old boys like leaving, and some of the new guys coming through, so even though I still feel young myself, I am a lot more experienced than some of the other ones. Um, it's going to be hot in Cairo, isn't it? Very hot, <laughs> unpleasantly. But I suppose you had that kind of experience in, in Rio and, and places um, like last year, didn't you? It looked very humid. And... I think humidity, it's different. Like in having competed in Cairo before, it's very dry out there compared to Rio, where we actually were in Rio for when it was their winter, so it was still going to be 10 degrees cooler than, um, than what it's like in Cairo. So. I think, I think it would be quite an unpleasant experience for everyone. <laughs> uh, and um, finally, uh, MJ Church, obviously yeah. you're an ambassador for them. Um, what has their support meant to you over the past year? Oh, their support has been brilliant. It's just, it, like, it gives you, um, like just knowing you've got the support from a big company like that, it means you can, well, they give me a little bit of a grant so I can afford like the best kit so I can get enough fencing FAs or whatever I need at the time. Um, and then also it's just like, going around and you can see all the great work they're doing like they support the university as well so it, it is just really good to know that you're being supported and you can uh, train with like full confidence and knowing what you're doing great thanks Joe.